In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 30th, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Minnesota Twins vs. New York Mets The Minnesota Twins are set to face off against the New York Mets, with both teams looking to build on their impressive seasons. The Twins boast a 58-47 record, which places them second in the American League Central Division. Meanwhile, the Mets have a 56-50 record, securing third place in the National League East Division. This matchup promises to be an exciting game between two of baseball's top teams. The Twins aim to pull off an upset, but the Mets are determined to dominate from the first inning. With an average of 4.82 runs per game, the Mets are expected to consistently bring in bass runners thanks to the offensive efforts of Mark Vintos, Francisco Lindor, and the rest of the lineup. They will be facing David Festa, against whom they should be able to drive in runs effectively. On the mound, Sean Mania is anticipated to pitch multiple strong innings, allowing the bullpen to maintain the lead and secure the win. Mania has historically performed well against Minnesota, and he will be up against a twin squad that has struggled at the plate this month. Despite New York's struggles this month, their hitting remains above their season average, and their offense ranks in the top 10 for home runs, doubles, and strikeouts per game. Playing in front of their home crowd, the Mets are likely to regain their momentum, so the New York Mets' money line is our full-game side pick. The Twins, who average 4.86 runs per game, are expected to score runs with ease, led by the strong performances of Jose Miranda, Byron Buxton, and the rest of the lineup. Conversely, the Mets, having scored 40 runs in their last six games, are poised to exploit David Vesta, who has allowed 13 runs in his last three starts. With Mark Vintos, Francisco Lindor, Pete Alonso, and the rest of the batting order aiming to hit home runs and drive in runs, the Mets should have no trouble scoring. Festa's struggles on the road and under the lights, coupled with his high home run rate, suggest that the Mets' top 10 offense in scoring and hits per game will take full advantage. While Mania has allowed nine home runs over his last nine starts, his high strikeout rate indicates a vulnerability to the long ball. Both offenses are likely to perform well, making over the projected total our full game total pick. Kansas City Royals vs. Chicago White Sox A pair of American League Central rivals continue their series on the baseball diamond in search of a victory on the south side of Chicago. The Kansas City Royals play the middle game of a three-game set on the road as they take on the Chicago White Sox on Tuesday night. Michael Wacha has been outstanding against the White Sox, boasting a 4-1 record with a 3.3 earned run average over eight starts. Earlier this month, he pitched seven scoreless innings against them in Kansas City. On the other hand, Jonathan Cannon has struggled in his two career starts against the Royals, allowing four runs and in six innings during their last meeting. The Royals have had the upper hand in recent matchups, winning 11 of the past 12 games against the White Sox. They swept Chicago in a three-game series at Kauffman Stadium in July and have won four of their last five games at Guaranteed Rate Field. Kansas City pitchers have held White Sox hitters to two runs or fewer in their last four meetings. In 2024, the Royals have been a reliable bet, covering the spread in 58 of their 103 games. Offensively, the Royals hold a significant advantage, ranking in the top 10 in multiple categories, including a .250 batting average, while the White Sox languish near the bottom in several key metrics. The Royals also have a pitching edge, ranking 10th in earned run average at 3.72, compared to the White Sox's 28 8th place at 4.61. Chicago has been in a slump, losing 14 straight games. The White Sox's poor performance means even if they won all their remaining regular season games starting Monday, they would only finish at .500. Given their current form, the odds of that happening are slimmer than winning the lottery. Cannon has been decent as a rookie, delivering four straight starts of at least six innings. However, the White Sox's offense, which ranks last in the majors, struggles to score runs. Although the Royals' offense is less potent on the road, 
Facing a Chicago team with limited scoring ability means they don't need a high output to secure a win. While one might argue for the White Sox and the plus money due to Cannon's decent performance at home, the team has not won a game since July 10th and is on track to be one of the worst in MLB history. They are also the worst team for MLB betters this season. Betting on the White Sox consistently would lead to significant losses. Thus, the Kansas City Royals on the money line is our full game side pick. Earlier this month, Wacha held the White Sox scoreless for seven innings and has allowed only two earned runs in his last 27 innings against them. The last six matchups between these teams went under the run total, with only 11 runs scored during their recent three-game series in Chicago. The White Sox have not exceeded three runs in their last 11 meetings with the Royals. Kansas City pitchers have posted a 2.86 earned run average with a 0.95 WHIP in their last six games at guaranteed rate field. The White Sox rank near the bottom in batting average and are last in slugging percentage, making it unlikely they will score in bunches against Kansas City's pitching staff. The White Sox have scored three runs or less in five of their last six games and have a .206 batting average in their last ten home games. In his lone home start against the Royals, Cannon limited them to one run on three hits over five innings. The Royals pitching staff ranks eighth in earned run average at 3.68. Entering Monday, Kansas City has seen the under hit in 59 of their 106 games, with three pushes. They rank 11th in runs per game at 4.62 and average 8.58 runs per game overall. On the road, the Royals average 3.94 runs per game and have a total of 7.71 runs per contest. Chicago went into Monday with the under posting a 55-48-5 mark in their first 108 games. The White Sox are last in the majors in runs per game, averaging 3.06. Their overall average total is 8.13 runs per game, with the same 3.06 runs per game at home and an average total of 7.73 runs. Given the Royals' drop in offensive production on the road and the White Sox's struggles to score under the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. San Diego Padres The 2024 Major League Baseball season continues on Tuesday, July 30th, featuring a highly anticipated NL West showdown between the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. This exciting matchup will take place at Petco Park in San Diego, California. On May 10th, Tyler Glasnow delivered a stellar performance against the Padres at Petco Park. He struck out 10 batters over 7 innings, allowing only one run and one hit, which came from a solo home run by Luis Campusano. Despite his impressive outing, Glasnow did not earn a decision, and the Padres narrowly defeated the Dodgers 2-1. The current Padres lineup has struggled against Glasnow, managing just 7 hits and 52 at-bats, including 2 doubles and a home run. Similarly, the Dodgers' healthy hitters have only one hit and 25 at-bats against Matt Waldron, setting the stage for a thrilling battle at Petco Park on Tuesday night. Since the All-Star break, both teams have performed well against right-handed pitchers, with the Dodgers posting a WRC plus of 138 and the Padres a WRC plus of 126. However, their bullpens have been less impressive, with the Dodgers holding a 5.77 earned run average and the Padres a 4 earned run average. Both teams have won seven games since July 19th, making it difficult to predict a clear favorite. I lean towards the Padres for this matchup, as Tyler Glasnow has struggled in his last three starts. While the Dodgers might be the favorites, I'm not a big fan of Tyler Glasnow. Matt Waldron has pitched better on the road and remains a solid option. Additionally, the Padres have been excelling against right-handed pitching in the second half of the season. Given these factors, I see significant value in betting on the Padres. So the San Diego Padres' money line is our full game side pick. Now, let's focus on the starting pitchers. Tyler Glasnow has faced the Padres twice this year, allowing only three earned runs over 12 innings, resulting in a 2.25 earned run average. He has limited the current Padres lineup to a slash line of .135, .274, and .231 over 52 at-bats. Both games he pitched against San Diego this season stayed under the projected total. Similarly, Matt Waldron has faced the Dodgers twice, conceding only three earned runs over 10.1 innings, with a 2.61 earned run average. Both games also stayed under the projected total. The Dodgers' current roster has struggled against Waldron, managing only one hit in 25 at-bats. This sets the stage for a high-stakes showdown on Tuesday night. 
Petco Park is known for being a pitcher-friendly environment, and the last three matchups between the Dodgers and Padres in San Diego have resulted in five or fewer total runs. The under has hit in four of the last five meetings between these two teams. Additionally, the Padres have allowed only 20 runs over their last eight games, and I anticipate their pitching staff will continue to improve at home. San Diego holds a 4.5 earned run average and a 1.27 WHIP in 54 home games this season. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.